I can't say you're beautiful. You know why? No, why? Because okay. beauty's on the inside and I haven't been inside yet. That's disgusting. Raise your hand if you just got DP'd. She belongs to the streets. If you ever want to make a man real happy, all you got to do is shut up. And that's exactly why I never make a man real happy. You have a girlfriend? I don't. Do you think I'm hot? <laughs> eh, not really. Oh, why? Way many more people attractive here than you. What's not hot about me? Your personality and your voice. Rejected. This is a cry to all the gym girlies out there. Y'all gotta stop overreacting. Most of the gym guys out there either don't care about you or care about you from a health and safety standpoint. They are not toxic men. And y'all need to stop pushing that agenda onto them. Ninety percent of females lie about their body count. We're lying about it because y'all care about it so much. That's the only reason why we have to lie is because we're competing with these other bitches who haven't had as much sex as us, and guys find that more attractive. So then we gotta be like, oh shit. I haven't slept with that many people. Men are so superficial. A few moments later. Would you date a guy that's shorter than you? Absolutely not. I'd at least 6'2". At least 6'2". Yeah. How tall are you? 5'5". Five, 5'5". Five. Five, five. Yeah. So 6'2". Six, 6'2", two, well, six, six, yeah. bare minimum. Yeah, I just like tall dudes. Am I your type? If you, if you were single. If I were single. Yeah, if you were single, would you like, would I have a chance with you? Why? I'm so sorry. Because I'm not your type. No. Rejected. If he wants a sandwich, you make daddy a sandwich. Good job, my brother. We rocking with you. Most of the time. No, 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 no. Let me ask you this. Well, okay. Let me ask you this. If me and you out and somebody say something slick to you. You punch him in the face. You want me to smack him in his mouth, yep, right? That's right. So if I take you on a date and I say, look, baby, we going to go Dutch. No. Exactly. If we walking up to the car and I don't open your car door, what do you say? Open the door. You better believe it. Yeah, no, I, I am with you. I think So you make daddy a sandwich. I think... <laughs> can, can we agree on this following statement? Some people are more physically attractive than others. No, I think that beauty is in the eye of the beholder. So I don't agree with that. Okay, so you think you're a 10? Yeah. Boy, ain't no fucking way, boy. Boy, ain't no way, boy. Don't I think I'm... Gorgeous, don't, I think I'm perfect. Listen, don't take this the wrong way. You're not Please a 10. Lay it on me. You're, you're not a 10. Okay, that's just your opinion. I'm, I'm not gonna rate you, but you're not a 10. Okay, you don't have to rate me, and that's just your opinion. Well, it is, listen, look. You don't like fat bitches? <laughs> well, you took it there. Wow, you could have just said no. You know what's funny? When you're on a date with a new guy, and the whole time he thinks you're vibing, but really, you're just waiting for your real man to say he's sorry. How am I gonna get my wife the perfect Valentine's Day gift when she already has me? Like, sometimes I look at her and I'm like, you are so lucky I chose you. Like, you should be on your knees, Excuse me. thanking your lucky stuff. Who are you talking to? Shame on you! Get lost! This is a decent community! It's not for criminals! I had a man say to me once that the reason that he likes dating younger women is because they're not so angry. I literally was like, I like younger women because they're still so sweet. It's true. Younger women are more fun to be around, early to mid-20s, they're more impressionable, they have a more youthful aura to them. Women who are in their late 20s, 30s, 40s, they usually have a cold, callous aura about them. They're frustrated with life, oftentimes their dating and relationships didn't work out, so now they gotta come to your doorstep in your life and they're gonna be giving you an attitude. Typically alpha females, uh, women who aren't really trying to follow your lead, they the boss be, I can do this, and I don't gotta listen to you. So why would a man who's made his money, who's successful, want to be with a woman who has a bad attitude. Let's just be honest. So men typically want to be with younger women, not just for youth and purposes and beauty, but for fertility as well. <laughs> what do you guys think cheats more, men or women? Women. Why do you say women? 
I know way more girls that have cheated on their boyfriends than guys. Girls are sneaky. You guys are better at it. We're better at it. Have you done it? No, never. Stop the cap. <laughs> like, how do you know you're better at it? I have too many friends who have. When I got you, when I got you flowers, when I got you chocolate, when I got you this and that. What, are you don't touch me. Girl? Don't touch me. I on Valentine's Day. Look what I found out. Look what I found out. Find Nothing out against you, bro. No, you good, bro. You good. It's not on you. It's not on Julie, you. Don't. How to make any girl fall in love with you. Like Pretend Julie. that you like her a lot and then ignore her. And she's yours. Uh, leave her on red multiple times. Get with your ex-girlfriend right in front of her. That one's good. I'm uh, 29. So in my early 20s, you know, um, I would date guys only if they were over six foot tall. And that was just like a really hot time in my life. Women sacrificing genuine desire in order to obtain stability has become something of an epidemic. Enough women now have done what she's describing. They spent their hot time going after the hot guys. She wakes up somewhere and realizes these hot guys are not going to commit to her. So she switches her focus to guys that she would not have gone out with during her hot time. A new study finds that despite women making less money than men, more single women in the U.S. own homes than single men, thanks to a phenomenon economists call divorce. <laughs> snatcher pt 11 oh no she's coming peekaboo i got your wig what is she hiding in that wig cap ladies have you thought about what could happen if you quit putting men down this whole feminism thing has become so toxic, it's embarrassing. Most men aren't dangerous, most men aren't toxic, most men aren't going to hurt you. And then we have the girls who complain about the fact that they're not doing the bare minimum in relationships or any situations. Why should they? What do you bring to the table? I'm hot and white. What? <laughs> You're hot and white? Yeah. A few moments later. What's your height requirement? Um, at least taller than me. I'm only 5'2", so it's not hard to beat that. So you would, you would date a dude that's 5'3"? <laughs> nah, I've only dated dudes that were like 6 or taller. But 5'3 is taller than you. Yeah, but I probably wouldn't date a dude So what's the real taller. height requirement? Maybe like 6 or taller. Um, at least taller than me. I'm only 5'2", so it's not hard to beat that. I just found out that my girlfriend of four long years has been cheating on me for a month behind my back. And I'm totally lost right now. I don't know what to say. I don't know what to do. I don't know how to move on. I gave this girl 100% of my energy 24-7 for the last four years. And I don't know what to do at this point. She was my rock. We talked about everything. We I feel bad for the guy because I've been there myself. And I'm quite sure a lot of you guys have. Every man has been through a breakup or two and it doesn't feel good. Now notice how he said he put all his time, energy, 100% for four years. That's a bachelor's degree. So he could have been doing something more productive. What you have to understand about women, especially in modern times, you cannot make them be loyal. No matter what you do, no matter how much money you spend on them, no matter how many bills you pay, no matter how many times you take them out, nothing's going to make a woman 100% loyal. So they can choose this guy. They can go out and flirt with this guy. They can get online and, and seek attention. This is just how modern women are. Now, notice how he said also that she was my rock, that we talked all the time. So that means he probably put a whole bunch of energy that he could have been putting elsewhere. When a woman usually cheats on you or leaves you, it's blindsided you because you're like, man, I was doing everything right. I did all these different things. What happened? Yeah, because you focused too much on her as opposed to focusing on yourself. Oh, yeah.